the stage is set, the curtain is rising, and from the far ends of the earth all roads lead to London, historic capital of the British Empire, an empire whose flag flies over six continents, whose possessions dot the seas. Steamship lines report a record business as countless thousands pour in for the great day, and the empire sends her armies of peace as once she sent them when the thunder rolled. Welcome Australia. The stage is set, the lights are up, the cast of two millions is standing in the wings. Welcome Canada. Her Prime Minister, Mr. Mackenzie King, her men of the Maple Leaf, from the land of yellow waving wheat and dark forest, the land of mountain and rushing water. Welcome New Zealand, land of rich pasture, flowing in milk and honey. Welcome India, rich jewel of the empire. Welcome South Africa, land of gold and eternal sunshine. Welcome to her Premier General Herzog. For all these, and for her two million other visitors, London has decked herself out in carnival. Worthy of the artist's brush is the flashing brilliance of her waving colour, the Mall, that within a few hours will echo with seething cheers, and even here where memories linger. Everywhere, it's festival. Along the embankment, two important overseas visitors admire the view, and London's parks are studded with white. The military atmosphere is contagious, eyes left. With the whole world waiting to hear how London passed Coronation Day, there'll be no rest in Fleet Street. St Paul's will look down on tapping typewriters and buzzing tape machines. But it's festival, just the same. Come down to London's East End. There you'll find a welcome to warm your heart. They haven't got much to spare. So when the landlord comes, what do you think he'll say? Come down the Thames where the home fleet is in. Not with the might of her guns, torpedoes or depth charges, but to help London entertain her visitors. Come north to Edinburgh, proud capital of Scotland, with gay streets swept by the scent of moorland and mountain heather. Come to working Glasgow, where long idle machines are humming again and life swings to the distant roar of the blast furnaces. Come to Newcastle, where once again great ships are growing along the banks of the Tyne, and the day's tune rings out on clanging steel. Come to Manchester, where it isn't raining, and the fog has lifted so that you can see Britain's Cottonopolis in all its glory. Come to Liverpool, where each day brings more great ships, more thousands of visitors, more gaiety and festival to grey streets. Come to Birmingham and the humming Midlands, where men work by day and by night, but still have time to celebrate. The stage is set, the pageant is on, and the whole world joins in one gigantic chorus of hope and joy. Long live our King and Queen!